The easiest way for a game to age is visually. Great game design will remain great for years and years on end, but with improving technologies being such a crucial part of games and how they're made, something new that looks better and pushes the envelope in that front keeps on coming along. Even so, there are several examples of games out there that looked gorgeous when they released and still look great even today. Here we're going to talk about a few such things. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker Let's kick this off with the most obvious pick. The Wind Waker's cel-shaded cartoony art style may have been more than a little controversial when the game launched back in the day, but the general consensus has shifted to pretty much the exact opposite as time has gone on. Its gorgeous art style is exactly what gives the game such a timeless look, ensuring that even if we're playing it a decade from now, it still won't have lost its charm. Resident Evil 2002 Looking at the massive visual gulf between the original Resident Evil and its GameCube remake, it's a little hard to believe that just two years separated the games. But where the PS1 original is a bit of a mess to go back to now, the remake is, and likely always will be, an absolute masterpiece. That's true in more ways than one, of course, but even just from a visual perspective, the game is still gorgeous. From the incredible atmosphere it builds through its art design to how good its pre-rendered backgrounds still look. Killzone 2 Killzone 2's visuals will always be attached to the infamous CG trailer that Sony debuted the game with and tried to pass off as an in-engine gameplay, but of course, as it turned out, the game itself actually ended up looking even better. Killzone 2 was absolutely cutting edge back in 2009, and no, it's not quite at that level anymore, but it's still a damn fine looking game. Its gritty environments, its sharp attention to detail, all of it gives it a very distinct visual identity. Batman Arkham Asylum Rocksteady's Arkham Trilogy took impressive leaps forward with its visuals with each new game, to the extent that 2015's Arkham Knight might still be one of the best looking console games we've ever played. Even so, while Arkham Asylum hasn't seemed that technically impressive for a long, long time, it's still a game that looks great. It helps, of course, that it borrows so much of its aesthetic from the Batman comics and animated series, which means that even though it uses a lifelike style, it still feels stylized. Limbo The very definition of less is more. That pretty much applies to Limbo as a whole, but we're talking specifically about how it looks here. A game that's exclusively black and white, Limbo uses depth, light, and shadows in constantly inventive and ingenious ways, and that does just as much for how good the game looks as it does for how incredibly well it builds its atmosphere. This is a game that'll never not look amazing. Shadow of the Colossus from 2005. Blue Point Games' Shadow of the Colossus remake for the PS4 is an absolutely gorgeous game, but you could just as easily appreciate the stellar beauty of the original, even if you were to play it in its original form today. Shadow of the Colossus achieved scale and created a sense of desolate beauty like no other game has quite managed, and those things are just as impactful in the PS2 classic today as they were in 2005. Gran Turismo 4 more so than for most genres, racing and sports sims depend on technological visual improvements, just because that's so important to things that are so important to them, from presentation to attention to detail and more. Even so, while Gran Turismo 4 doesn't hold a candle to where GT itself finds itself in today's day and age, where visuals are concerned at least, going back to it today, you'd be surprised to see how well it holds up. A lot of games of that era can look extremely rough now, but GT4 still looks more than solid enough. Silent Hill 2 Fog is something that games have used for ages to deal with technical deficiencies, but Silent Hill as a series made it part of its visual identity. And for more reasons than one, it's Silent Hill 2 that best personifies that identity. More than two decades on from that launch, even with how clearly aged its technical aspects are, Silent Hill 2 looks great, and uses its visual elements to build its atmosphere just as effectively. Grand Theft Auto 4 Most games that came out in or around 2008 tend to look pretty ugly now, if we're putting it bluntly, especially when they adopt a photorealistic aesthetic. 
GTA 4 did adopt that aesthetic, and yet it still somehow manages to look great today. Now, admittedly, a lot of the game's graphical splendor back in the day relied on things that just don't seem as impressive anymore, but even so, the game itself still looks crisp, sharp, and detailed to almost a surprising degree. L.A. Noir. This one is a fairly recent release, the most recent one in this entire list, in fact, but it's still over a decade old, and even games that were a decade old have aged worse than your memory might have you believe. L.A. Noir obviously has aged as well, especially since its shtick back in the day was its facial capture, which has become increasingly common in games over the years, but even so, if you can get past some of those uncanny valley faces, you'll find a game that still looks rather sharp. Black. Black is one of the best diamonds in the rough you'll find in the entire PS2 library. Just as its action is still fun so many years later, its graphics too have aged pretty well. The game's visuals do look outdated in some pretty obvious ways, as you'd expect, but from its varied environments to how bombastic its firefights still look, Black is still a game that can visually hold its own much better than one might expect a 2006 game. Metal Gear Solid 3 the Metal Gear Solid games are all visually timeless to varying degrees, even Metal Gear Solid 1, but the one that never fails to amaze us with just how gracefully its graphics have aged is Metal Gear Solid 3. Its dense jungles, its dank cave, its sweeping landscape shots, its detailed interiors and environments, all of it is just not serviceable by today's standards. It's downright impressive in its own way. With slightly touched up visuals, Metal Gear Solid 3 as it is could just as easily be a game that released today. Mirror's Edge. The argument that good art design does more to help games' visuals stand out than good technical fidelity is one that gets brought up most often. We've spoken about a few games that strengthen that argument in this feature so far, and this is another one of them. Mirror's Edge's bold use of white and red serves just as much of a purpose for its gameplay as it does for crafting the game's visual and artistic identity. Even though technically the game is not awfully impressive anymore, you'll still find more than a few scenes of striking beauty in Mirror's Edge even now, even though it's well over a decade old. Okami. Here's yet another example of a game whose graphics have endured the test of time, not because of how realistic they are, but because of how gorgeous and unforgettable its art style is. Okami is a beautiful game that never fails to impress you with its varied sights. Its re-releases on more powerful hardware have helped the game pop that much more, but even the original release on the PS2 is still a stunner. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.